Hey everyone, Ariel Adams here with TheBlogToRead.com. Today I'm reviewing the Cadence Oarsman Hammer. This is the newest analog watch from the brand. Um, it's actually pretty handsome. It's a rowing themed watch. And you see these orange segments right here. They're actually oars, uh, which is interesting character. That is not a lot of rowing or any other rowing themed watch companies out there that I know of. Um, pretty reasonably priced watch. Um, you know, style tends to focus a little bit on trying to be similar to some popular things on there. There's definitely a lot of Breitling influence in this. Uh, Cadence is probably going to hate me for saying that, but that's pretty undeniable. There's something interesting about this dial that I don't think I've ever said before. I usually I complain about watch hands being too short. Uh, these are actually maybe too long. Not that I don't like it, but if you see here, the actual dial of the watch is sort of smaller and there's this, this special ring around the edge I'll get to. And see how the hour hand actually extends more than the hour indicators? You, you almost never see that. It doesn't bother me at all, but it's just something you don't see every day. Other people would just make the hands really, really short. They'd look stubby because the actual watch dial itself is smaller, but what Cadence did is said, okay, we're gonna have a little happy medium. So I actually applaud it. It makes reading the watch probably easier for me, but some people might be curious as to why that's going on. So what's going on with this watch? It has a uh, Japanese Miyota chronograph movement, which has been modified. The, the base movement is the OS90 um, chronograph. And it looks like a standard chronograph. It's got two pushers, it's got three subdials. Uh, you know, what's going on there? Well, when you push this, something crazy happens. This, uh, the chronograph seconds hand Instead of moving around the dial every minute, it's going around once a second. And up here, you have a scale which is going, it's actually a sweeping hand, it's going around once a minute. And then the thing will stop. So this, this dial down here is for the time subsidiary seconds. This is actually a synchronized 24 hour hand for basically AM, PM purposes and telling military time. And this is a special device to telling a rate of rowing. I'm not a rower. And if you want a, a tutorial on exactly how this works, you can go to Cadence's website. But that's what this is. So when you stop it, that little hand will point to something here. And if you look at that number, if you do this properly, uh, you will see the rate of rowing. It works very similar to tachymeter in a watch where you're seeing a, a speed. Um, the watch is big. It's 45 millimeters wide. Uh, it's in steel. Um, I think it's a, it pretty, has a mineral crystal, but it's not an expensive watch. So... You know, what can you ask for at a price of, you know, about $275, which is the price. And for that price, it's very, very good. I like the applied polished hour indicators. I like the hands. It's easy to read. Cadence has always done a really good job at giving us a handsome looking watch for a good price. And sort of that rowing perspective is something which is really unique. It's a leather strap. Um, this leather strap will last you, you know, probably about a year be before you have to replace it, but that's really cheap to do. Um, the case is nicely made. Um, it's, it's finished, you know, about as well as you can expect for this price. Um, I like it. If you like this thing, I don't see why you shouldn't get it. It's not a watch for everybody, but it's definitely handsome. It's definitely economical. And if you're into rowing, it's definitely an interesting piece to have. Again, this is the Cadence Oarsman Hammer. You can read the full review at a blogtoread.com.